My name is Sigurd Lukanin and I'm a world and Olympic figure skating coach. And today we're going to be talking about one of the pre-bronze pattern dances Fiesta Tango. First steps, the first steps of Tango are outside edges, quick outside edges. So the easiest way to execute these two quick outside edges and make sure that they are defined as far as our curves go, it's twisting into one and then twisting into the other. So before we jump into the dance, let's do this exercise. Let's start on our right leg with our right hand in front. We're going to look to the left. We're going to push and step into the left leg. We're going to twist and then we're going to bring our feet together, changing the leading up. And then we step onto the other foot and twist and then bringing our feet together, change the twist. So step, twist, feet together. Step, twist, feet together. Step, twist, feet together. Step, twist, feet together. Next. So now let's go into the first step of the dance. So the first step is the left outside edge, which starts almost by the blue line. So if this is my long wall, and the blue line is somewhere here, and the short wall is my screen, we're gonna start right here. So we're gonna prepare for that first outside edge by keeping our right hand in front, looking to the left, and then pushing and stepping onto the left outside edge, twisting to the left inside out of our circle, then quickly change the leading arm and bringing our feet together, turning our head, and then we're gonna push onto the right foot, twist to the right inside of our circle, then quickly changing our leading arm, bringing our feet together, and turning our head. So let's do that one more time. Let's pre-bend on our right foot, look to the left, keep the upper body twisted to the left, push and step onto the left foot, increase the twist to the left, change the leading arm, moving your left hand in front, bringing your feet together, turning your head, and then push and step onto the right foot, twist into the right, changing the leading arm right after the step, bringing our feet together and turning our head. The next step after that is the crossover onto an outside edge, leading us to the crossover. So that crossover has to be started with the right hand in front. So we finish our second outside edge on our right foot, we turn our head to the left, and keeping the twist to the left, we go through the crossover, and then increasing the twist, we push it into the left outside edge, trying to define that outside edge a little more, and then turning our head, keeping our upper body in the same place in the relation to the space around us, we go into the cross. So between an outside edge, after the crossover, which is our left outside edge, and the right outside edge, the second inch of our crossover, we do not change the leading up. The only thing we change, it's the lean and the turn of our head. And why do we change that lean? Because we want to go through the crossover. We want to show outside edge connected with the cross step with the next outside edge, which is on my right. So I go from the left outside edge lean and twist into the left, to the right outside edge through the cross, keeping the twist to the left, but changing the lean to the right. So let's go from the beginning to that step, and then we're gonna talk about the position of our free leg after that cross from before we do the cross behind. So we begin our dance with our right hand in front, looking to the left, pushing and twisting to the left, defining the left outside edge, changing our leading arm right after turning our head, preparing for the step to the right. Then we push them to the right, staying twisted to the right, and right after our foot hits the floor, we change our leading arm, we bring our feet together, we turn our head, preparing for the crossover. And then we do the crossover, we execute the crossover, keeping that twist to the left, and then as we push them to the left outside edge, we increase the twist to the left, making our left outside edge a little deeper. And then as our leg, as our free leg starts to bend, we start slightly changing the limb, growing, going through the vertical position in relation to the ice or to the floor, as our foot crosses. 
and then we change the knee as our foot leaves the floor, but we keep the same twist, so we are ready for the cross behind. So let's go from the crossover into the cross behind into the next part. So we go through the crossover and an outside edge. We start at our crossover. We wrap one ankle the, uh, with the other. Now, for that cross behind to be executed without me catching my top, I need to do two things. I need to keep my knee together, my knees together, so not turned out together. And then as my foot slides down, I want to flex my foot so my heel goes down first. So my heel hits the floor first, not my toes. Then my free leg gets out through the slight movement. And then I bring my feet together, preparing myself for the swing over. So cross over, right hand in front. Cross over, push them to the left outside edge. Twist and lean to the left. Start going through the vertical position, executing the cross row, finishing the push off an outside edge at the end of the cross row, extending your leg, keeping the twist to the left, leaning to the right, then bend your free leg, wrap your free leg's ankle around your other ankle, and then sliding your leg down, flex your foot so your heel hits the floor first, extend your right leg as it leaves the floor, and then bring your feet together, changing the twist of your upper body, preparing for an outside swing. So, I've got here. Now, my upper body is twisted to the right. I push them to the right outside edge, leaning and, twi leaning and being twisted to the right, starting the nice and deep outside edge. Then I change the leading arm so my skate. My, my, the toes, my toes are skating to my right hand and I'm leaning to the right. And then I finish my swing roll, keeping that lean place in my leg right underneath my right arm. And after that I go through the change of edge, changing my lean and twist, letting my leg go back, and as it goes back, I turn it up. So the change of edge from the outside swing roll to the inside edge. It has to be defined and visible. For that to happen, we need to use the twist and the lean of the upper body, forcing our blade to get from deep outside to the deep inside. So I go from an outside, leaning inside of the circle, twisted outside of the circle, to an inside edge, leaning inside of the circle, twisted outside of the circle. So from there, we have an outside and an inside edge. We have an outside and an inside leading us to the mall. So the position after the change of edge is right here. So my left hand is in front, my upper body is twisted to the right, my free leg is right behind my heel, and then lean into the circle. I bring my feet together, and keep in that same position, I push into an outside edge, and then I bring my feet together without changing anything in my upper body's position, I put into an inside. And now for the mohawk, I bring my heel to the middle of my foot, I turn my free leg out, and as my foot hits the floor, I bring the other foot off the floor, bringing it into the sixth position, feet together, and my upper body ends up facing my future, my next circle. So in relation to my lower body, my upper body doesn't change, right? So I was leaning into it, I was leaning to the left, twisted to the right, I step into the mohawk, my upper body stays in the same position. And then to finish the dance, I have progressive, and then I have a cross in front, and then I step forward into an inside edge. And my upper body through this whole end part stays facing, the circle I'm on. And then as I step into the last inside edge, I step forward inside edge, I step forward with my right hand in front of me, and then I'm ready for the first step of the dance. So let's go one more time from the beginning, through the whole dance, right hand in front, look to the left, push and twist to the left, change your leading arm, bring your feet together, turn your head, step into the right, twist and lean to the right, Change your arm, bring your feet together, turn your head to the left.
cross over, keeping the twist to the left. Push into the left outside edge, increase the twist in the knee, making your reach a little deeper. Then starting to go through the vertical position, but keeping the twist to the left. You send your leg through the cross, your left leg leaves the floor and turns out. You change the knee as it happens, so you lean to the right. Then you wrap your free legs anchor around your standing legs ankle. Then you slide your foot down, your heel goes down first. Your other leg extends, and as it goes back to, back to your standing leg, you twist to the right, preparing for the outside swing roll. You push onto the right outside edge, leaning and being twisted to the right. Then right after that push is executed, you skate to your right hand, keeping the lean to the right, so your blade stays on an outside edge. Then you swing with your left leg, placing it right underneath your right hand, keeping the knee to the right, and then to go through the change of edge, you change the twist of your upper body, you change the lean in relation to the space around you, your leg goes behind you and turns out, and then you bring your feet together. Here you keep the same position, you're twisted to the right, you look to the left, you step onto the left outside edge, you bring your feet together, you step onto the right inside edge, and then you start preparing for the mohawk, Turning your leg out, placing your heel right to the middle, or right to the instep. And then as you execute the mohawk, your feet get together, your upper body stays to the right side, facing the circle you're on, and then you do your progressive, keep in that position, cross, and then you prevent turning your right leg out, you step onto the right inside edge, facing that same circle, you bring your feet together, and you're ready to start the second part. Thank you very much.